it's Naomi with Naomi's fashion blog coming to you from Duluth Minnesota my fashion ideas are good for almost all all ages but if you're over the age of 40 there's a little more tips um right now I'm gonna take this satin cap off and see how my hair held up for the third day so today is the third day of Christmas. For those of you who celebrate that kind of thing, there's 12, day, 12 days of Christmas. And the last day of Christmas is January 6th, also known as Epiphany or Three Kings Day. So um, anyway, I've been wearing this pink and gray a lot because I'm a part-time sales associate at Christopher and Banks. And uh, what happened to our doggie, Maggie? Maggie BW, come here. I wanna show you my dog, but I don't know if she'll... You know, people love dogs. That's the only reason I'm doing this. I know it's using up time, but, um... But also, she's a Basset Hound, and so she really doesn't like to be picked up. She's part Basset Hound. Maggie, let me pick you up and show people how cute you are. Let me pick you up. She gets scared easy. See what a cute dog she is. Aw, this is Maggie B.W. And she's named after Margaret Bierkwite. The first fashion... No, 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 no. The first photo editor of Life Magazine. And did you know when Life Magazine... No, no. When... Margaret Birk White started, she didn't have very much money, but fashion was very important to her. And photography was very important to her, and making a good first impression and a good second and a good third impression was very important to her to get in clients. So she just had a few outfits, like a couple skirts, a couple blouses, a couple blazers or sweaters. She had gloves and she had hats. She would write down in her diary what she wore the first time she went to meet with a client so that she wouldn't wear the exact same thing the second time she went to meet with a client. And she did things like go into factories. And at that time, they thought both women and cameras were too delicate to be in factories. But she did a lot of really famous work but most of her work is copyrighted so it's hard to share it with you but what I wanted to tell you today is about these earrings they are pink and gray beads and my ah! oops, oops there's a doggy um my supervisor Val she said Naomi I just thought about the perfect earrings that would complete your outfit and it's these earrings, not that the ones that I had didn't go. The ones that I had, I must have bought a, at one of Wendy Gruffin's Wendy Up North craft shows. I like to buy my jewelry that's made by people in this local area. But I'm thinking Val is just like I was when I was running my newspaper. And I call it my newspaper. Because my mind was always turning about, oh, what would be the next great story? What would be good? Blah, blah, blah. And when I did The Hillsider, it wasn't only stories. It was ads. Who would be the perfect person to advertise? Well, Val's mind was turning, and she was thinking, geez, Naomi's making, Naomi's making videos, and she's putting stuff on Facebook. Plus, I think these earrings would go just perfect with her outfit. So, um, so I bought them. Well... Actually, we thought they had all sold out and we couldn't find them. But then at the last minute, somebody found them. But you can no longer find these earrings on the Christopher and Banks website. Christopher and Banks is what's considered fast fashion. And that means things moved quickly. And when things get sold out, they're sold out. And fast fashion has many meanings. There used to be like two seasons, winter and summer and then there were four seasons and now it's getting to be there's all kinds of seasons and it just keeps the fashion world move 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 and if you want to learn more about fast fashion I recommend you google it on the internet so anyway thanks and uh, I'll have to go upstairs and look in the mirror to see how my hair turned out
and see how many days I can wear this extension.